Changing minds one thought at a time. Greetings and welcome to Motivate Social Podcast, where we bring you people who are changing the world via social media. I am Dr. Ikeena Finch, and my lovely co-host, Vanessa Canterbury, is always with me. How are you doing today, Vanessa? I am doing great. How are you? I am fabulous, and I'm so excited for you to tell us who we have on the line today. Oh, wow. I met this lady through social media, and I've seen how hard she was working to be able to not only support other women, but to be able to show them how they could be able to build a successful tribe on social media. And no other than Adrienne Robinson. Adrienne, how are you doing? I'm fabulous, and it's Adria Robinson. I'm doing fabulous today. I'm so excited about this interview. Thank you for having me. Oh, you are so so welcome. Please, let's not keep the audience waiting. Tell us, how do you change minds through social media? Well, um, our mission, my specific mission is to provide the motivation, resources, and the network of gold diggers need to live an entrepreneurial lifestyle, and we do all that through social media. Awesome. So tell us about your tribe and tell us um what the tribe is all about. Okay, well, I am the CEO and founder of Powerful Women in Business Association. Uh, we rebranded, so I'm really excited about the new direction of the uh, organization. And it is just a large movement of uh, entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs. It's just our main hub online, especially on Facebook, where we just provide daily motivation. Um, we give amazing business resources from business consulting to how to maintain your social media. I mean, anything that you need in regards to growing your business, you can find it within our tribe. We have a lot of coaches and mentors um, that also can help uh, give you a good direction with your business. And we have great events. Uh, we host or support or promote an event at least once a month, from conferences, network conferences to empowerment conferences to networking events. We have a brunch coming up in October that we're really looking forward to, two conferences next month. Um, so being able to now allow them to be social, get off of social media, and actually mix and mingle and network uh, amongst each other is a great thing. Um, we also have products. So we just released the Lady Boss Ultimate Business Planner that will be partnered up with Chicks, Inc. to do so. Um, and this planner provides a wonderful business development tool. Um, it's just basically your map for your foundation of your business. Um, so a lot of the women in the group and in the movement are really appreciative of having this business planning tool. Uh, we also have our own university now uh, where we are doing particular classes once a month on different aspects of building your business. This month is branding one-on-one -on -one for four weeks. So we're really excited about that. Uh, so it's just a great hub and a great place to be able to uh, just get the support you need for your business. Um, and not only that, be able to find some accountability partners. Uh, we, we're launching our Business Bestie program. Actually, tomorrow is the first day of the program. It's 90 days. Um, so the ladies are able to have an accountability partner for their business. Um, and, and do some 90-day business challenges with their partners. Um, we always provide motivation. I can't say that enough. <laughs> I cannot say that enough. We always, motivation is number one um, because a lot of women, they decided, you know, sometimes they feel like they want to give up on their business or they want to just give up completely and they cannot uh, do it. Once they get into PWIB, they feel that inspiration. They feel that they are not lost in what they need to um grow their business and get back in the game. So, you know, I, I love the movie. I'm very, very passionate about it. I mean, it makes my heart tingle and give me goosebumps anytime I think or breathe or speak or even just see the women engaged in powerful women of business. So we're really looking forward to the growth of the movement. Now, that is really exciting because um, – so many people want to be an entrepreneur and be able to work for themselves, but sometimes we get so lost. And not only lost, sometimes we feel like we're alone. And so I know that's how you and I connected through the amazing, powerful women in business. So I know what's going on in that group, and it is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. So tell me, what is not, not just me, but the audience as well, what 
made you go in this direction to be able to empower um, as many women as possible um, to be able to not only have a successful business but have a, a, um, a home where they can always come back to knowing they're going to get some support um, to be able to get great tips and tools to be able to sustain their business? Uh, mainly because growing up uh, when I started to become on my own around 21, 22, when I started getting out in the world, I got myself in a lot of trouble being lost. Um, and I never really actually had that real hardcore support from women like mentors and women to look up to that show me that there were better things ahead in my life or to what are your dreams, what kind of dreams do you believe in, do you believe in yourself. Like these are not the kind of conversations I was actually used to having even as a kid and when I got older. So when I started to make it out in the world to my myself, I had to figure everything out myself and I got in a lot of trouble and I, I felt like, um, there was a couple instances where, you know, I got into legal trouble, you know, from selling drugs and and um, just being out in the street. I was homeless a couple times. I got robbed a couple times, and the last robbery was near death. Um, and at that point when I had the last, the last robbery happen, I actually said that I was going to change my life at that point. And I promised to God that what I was going to do, whatever I could, to make sure that everything that I've been through, the treacherous things I've been through, um, trying to make it out on my own, that I wanted to make sure that I can do anything I can to uh, help any women that were like me or, you know, felt like me, were depressed like me, or didn't believe in themselves like me. Like, I needed to be able to help women like that. So that's how I really got started in women's empowerment. At that time, I didn't really think it was empowerment, quote, unquote. I just wanted to help. <laughs> I just wanted to be a part of something, and I started uh, as the Atlanta chair for uh, the vice chair for the Metro Atlanta chapter of the National Congress of Black Women. Um, and once I started there, I realized how much I loved doing the charity events. I loved being around other women that were doing great things and how much community work we were doing at that time. And I wanted to do my own thing. You know, I didn't want to be under somebody else's organization. I wanted to have my own. And through trial and error over the last couple of years, I grew into powerful women in business. Um, and I'm keeping my promise with God. And because I'm keeping my promise with God, he is blessing me and showing me my purpose. This is my purpose. I'm passionate about it. I know it's my purpose because everything I speak and do and, and, and attempt to do with PWIB, it, he makes it happen for me no matter what. So, um, that's how I really got started. It was just basically just a testimony of mine and a promise that I gave to God that I was going to turn my life around and give back to the women who needed it. Wow, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. A lot of people would have just turned their life around and then just went along their merry way, but no, you went ahead and you honored that promise, and you are now helping many, many women uh, daily help them move into their right direction and help them move to their next level. So tell us about some of the things you see that tend to plague women in business more so than men that you are helping uh, the women with so that they can start working on these things if they decide they're ready to go into entrepreneurship. Um, One thing I'm really finding that uh, I I really – I pay more attention to inspiring and motivation, and on, even on the coaching side, is a lot of women's self confidence and their um, their you know securities and believing in themselves. You know, a lot of our women want to be great and do great things and become successful entrepreneurs, but some of them don't really 100% believe in themselves that they can actually be successful. Um, so that's a lot of things that I see a lot in within the women empowerment movement that uh, you know makes my heart go into makes my heart go into it even more because it's all about believing in yourself and knowing that whatever you want to do with your business or whatever it is that you're going to do for your business, it will be successful if you believe that it is and that you love to do it. You know, and some women half excuse me half have to do it because they just don't completely believe or have the faith that it's going to happen the way they want it to, so they kind of get held back. I think that's one of the number one things that I see all the time, and I just, you know, want to show them, like, hey, I'm not all the way there yet. I'm not a big 
money millionaire, billionaire girl. I'm I'm not the Oprah status, but best believe one thing, every single day I give my 100, 200% into my business because I believe that it's going to be successful. I believe that it's going to get to where I want it to be no matter what, no matter what anybody says, you know, no matter what I read and, and who tells me I can't have it. It, it, it doesn't matter. I love it, and I know that it's going to happen, and I want our women to believe in themselves. So if you believe in yourself and you believe in your dream, it's going to manifest because that's the only way God is going to be able to provide it to you. You have to have faith, and a lot of us don't have the faith, to, but they want to be successful, but they don't really believe that they can do it. Fear holds them back in a lot of things. They're, they're scared of the next level. Um, I see that a lot. And uh, as soon as you get rid of that fear of the next level and walk into it fearlessly and with that faith and and staying prayed up, uh, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Everything that you want to do is possible. And that's one message that I always try to relate every single day in PWIZ, and I do it with my own testimony. You know, I show the women. A lot of women that have been in PWIZ have been there when we first really started, when I really first became a part of the brand originally, and a lot of the women see me fall with it. They see me be tore up. They see me depressed online. They see me go through it, and they see me rise. You know, the one thing they've always seen is that I never gave up on my brand. And 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 the results are showing in regards to what I'm doing and, and all the blessings that I'm getting bestowed on me with PWIB, and that's what I like to show the women, like, look, I've been there, done it, but I did not give up, and you ladies can do this. Um, so compared to men, I know with doing business with men, a lot of men, are they just go and they just make it happen. They don't care. They, they might lose money, you know. <laughs> you know, they but they just jump on board. They don't. They do a lot of things without thinking, you know, in a way. You know, that's how men are sometimes. However, but our women, we're so emotional about everything that we put our energy into, and we just want to make sure that it's perfect. And I just really want our women to get rid of the fear. Stop being afraid of success. Stop being afraid of that next level. Stop being afraid of your failures. You know, failures is what makes us amazing. Failures is. Failures is what helps us learn to uh, do better and learn more about ourselves and about our business. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It hurts sometimes. It really does, but it, it's only temporary. So, yeah, that's one thing that I, I really see the most within the movement. Um, and I actually love that. I find even though it might be a weakness, I feel like it's our greatest strength um, because it allows the community to come together uh, more so than separate because we as community, as women, we can really support each other, embrace each other, and encourage and inspire each other to not be afraid of believing in ourselves. Um, so, yeah. I, I love that, um, you, how you encourage um, not only yourself but to encourage other women to get, let them know that you have to be able to remove that fear because I'm a believer that your blessing is on that other side of fear. You know, you just have to be able to just stand on your faith and move forward and take massive action. Um, but you will never know if you don't start. You will never know if you don't start. And so in order for you to grow, you have to keep on stretching yourself. And it's going to be uncomfortable. Um, but that's the growing process, uh, to be uncomfortable. Um, but it's going to be well worth it in the end. So I- I'm loving I'm loving what you're doing here. Uh, what's one of the things that you would recommend to your ladies um, when they're just starting out between the first, you know, three years of your business, what's the one thing that you would just, I mean, you can beat into their head. In the first three years of your business, what's one thing that you would tell them, this is what you need and this is what you definitely need because, you know, we all are going to need something. But that's that one thing that you really, really need. Invest in yourself. <laughs> Investing yourself. I don't know how you're going to do that. You know, some ladies, you may have to work a nine to five and get an extra check and put some of their wages into your business. You know, you may have to hustle a couple body butters to get that little money to invest into the bigger picture. Um, stop trying to always get a handout and not want to put the money up into your business into yourself. You got to invest in yourself. You got to invest in your look. You got to invest in your brand. You got to invest in a photo shoot. You got to invest in getting your flyers done. You got to invest into your website. Wherever you can put money, invest in yourself. 
um, and continuously invest in yourself. And, and investing in yourself doesn't just mean financially either. Um, investing in yourself in prayer, um, staying prayed up spiritually, um, education, reading, taking the time out to read books to teach you about your business is investing in yourself. Um, building the right relationships, you know, um, educating yourself on relationship building is investing in yourself. So sometimes when I say investing in yourself, it doesn't always mean financially. There's other ways you can do it, but you have to take the time to make yourself uh, the person that you want to mold yourself into being t- in order to have your business to be successful. And it takes time. It does take a few years to really uh, get your brand to where you want. I mean, you know, some sometimes it doesn't, but realistically it does take a little bit of time. But, man, let me tell you, investing in yourself is the number one thing that I can say is the most important to the success of your business. That makes perfect sense because, you know, a lot of times you don't have that money, you know, you want to, you know, bootstrap and everything. But, you know, at the end of the day, you, your vision, the brand, it all matters. And your growth, it also matters because if you're not growing, your business can't grow. So you definitely have to bring stuff to the business to make, to enhance the business. That is a very, very good point. So now I know we were talking about your tribe, and I know it's a lot of people who are in the tribe and are learning from your tribe. So can you give us some tips on how the tribe developed and, you know, and how if someone was to look, was looking to grow a tribe, how could they make that happen? Um, well, basically, it's all about networking and putting yourself out there, um, not being afraid to meet new people who are like-minded. Um, that's really how it started originally. Um, I really started connecting with other women, you know, through events, through social media, other media groups, through my friends list, through wherever I was going, I always met someone, and I would tell them what I was doing and say, hey, you know, I'm starting this movement. I started a movement. I really want to get a lot of women who are doing the same things that I am in regards to business, and would you like to be a part? It's that simple. Um, And, you know, getting their permission and finding the right women, and eventually um, it grows. And so what happens is if you're providing the good inspiration and resources to even with the little bit of people that you start off with, then they're going to want to bring more people into the tribe and it kind of grows. Um, my right now the growth that we've taken, I want to say 80% of the members that we have were all referred or added by other members. Um, so that's really important to make sure that you're providing value to the members or your tribe, providing some type of value to make them feel like they need to be a part of it. One part of being a successful entrepreneur is your network and, and being a part of several different networks. And if you if you notice and do your research now, 2016, the main part of networking is Facebook groups, <laughs> networking groups. Uh, this is really key to your success. So if you're really wanting to have an all-female networking group, you have to network. Uh, uh, you have to get out get out there and connect with women, let them know what you're doing, and bring them together. Um, and then you can have events where you can put on networking events where, you know, even some women who are not even in the tribe or in your networking group can also attend so they can see the type of things that you guys are trying to do, which gives you an opportunity to speak at your event and say, hey, this is our mission, this is where we're trying to go, I would love you all to be a part, you know, join us in our Facebook group here, so-and-so, add your friends, add your friends, add your friends. <laughs> At anybody to help us grow, um, and 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 that's really what it it was. I mean, the main thing that really helped is having um, great things every single day that keeps the women engaged at least for a while. Um, having a great team to help build as well. You can't do it by yourself at all. I am appreciative of the teams that I was able to be a part of um, and help grow PWIV, including Vanessa. Vanessa was a, a, one of the main people that I loved working with as a team to help grow. Um, and so that and, and that's really mainly it. You gotta network, you gotta get you a good team that supports the vision and you gotta make sure that you encourage your members to add other people um to it and having great events. Make sure you're doing events and providing valuable resources. 
And I, I remember when <laughs> when we first connected and how um, when you were going through the rebranding process of the business and you um, wanted to have people to be able to step up, to be able to say, you know what, I need a team here. And that's what it's about. I need a team here because I need to take care of this right here. And you just don't know to so many people that that's just to let them know that you can't do this by yourself. I need a team. I need to be over here to do these things here, but I still need you guys to be able to support me, to help me, to be able to, you know, remove the I because there's no I in team. And that right there is this leadership. And so that's one of the things that you may not recognize that off the bat, but that's leadership. You know what I mean? You're showing them what the leadership skills that they need in their own business, not just in the group. And so that's commendable because a lot of people don't lead from the front, and you, you lead from the front. So you're doing amazing. You're, you're doing absolutely amazing. So I want you to continue to keep doing that because you just never know who needs to know that you just – this wasn't an overnight thing. It takes time. And with, with you know, failure, with, um, with trial and error, with all types of questions in our head, but at least she was like, you know what, I know I need, this is something that's going to be absolutely amazing, and I'm going to move forward regardless if I fail, but I'm not going to quit. So all of those skills just still fall into place of just being that leader so you can be able to have a successful business. So that is very commendable with you. Thank you. Thank you. You're right. It's, it's, <laughs> you know, and, and I learned a lot, you know, over time. I learned about the type of relationships that I have. I learned – how I was as a team player and as a leader, you know, times I, was, I wasn't a great leader and I had to learn through failures of relationships and situations and business or whatever. Um, so it does take time, but I invested in myself, like I said before, in making sure that I perfected what I need as a, myself as a leader. And I'm saying I don't have a perfected right now, but still I feel like I've grown a lot um, as a leader and I've grown a lot, I've grown to appreciate uh, being able to have an amazing team and what it's like to have work with different personalities and but to really know how to express the vision that I want and I want everybody to feel it. That's my thing. I want you to feel where PWIV is going. I don't want you to just read it and just and just be a part of it. I want you to, when you're a part of PWIB, I want you to feel the energy. I want you to feel the love. I want you to feel the inspiration that you're going to be successful. I, I, I just want it to be organic um, and natural. I don't want it to feel like it's fake and forced and commercial and, and we're all in. I'm just trying to make money off of it. No, I don't want it to feel like that. When you step into PWIB, when you become a part of it, it should be an automatic energy that no matter what we have going on, you want to be a part of it. No matter what we're doing, no matter what we're posting, no matter where we are, <laughs> you want to be there because um, it's the part of where we need to be. And that's where you need to be. So, yeah, thank you. Well, that is definitely a great place to be because you make the people feel very welcome and free to ask their questions and free to network. So that is a wonderful thing because a lot of people have groups, but they really don't want you to interact. They just want you to get their information, but you have an open forum so that people can share as well as you giving information as well. So I want to thank you for that. And so can you please uh, tell the people where they can find this lovely group and where they can find you and uh, any one good nugget that's going to help them move along in their business and build in their tribe? Yes. Um, so you can find us mainly on Facebook, uh, Powerful Women in Business. You can just search for Powerful Women in Business. Uh, and I'm on Facebook too, uh, Adria, A D R I A D Robinson. We're on Instagram at underscore PWIB underscore. That's actually our social media across the board, underscore PWIB underscore. You can find us all over social media that way. We are rebranding our website, so we will have that up very soon, but definitely our social media is where you can find us. And one good nugget I can give is believe in yourself and don't allow nobody 
to tell you different about your purpose, about your vision, about your passion, about who you are, about how you dress, the way you look, the way you feel. That has nothing to do with anybody else but you. You got to believe in yourself, and you got to keep the faith that no matter how hard it gets to build your business, that you're going to make it through it. You're going to persevere. Persevere, and you are going to make sure that you're going to do whatever it takes to make sure that your business is successful, and you're not going to have any excuses. We're not going to have every excuse as to why something is not working out or why you can't do something or why you can't move forward in your business. You're going to make sure that you are just going to get it done. You're going to make it happen. That, that is my motive. My motive, my, my, mo- my motive <laughs> daily motive, anytime I think, is like, we need to make it happen. Point blank period, no excuses. However I'm going to get it done, this business is going to work for me, and uh, nobody's going to tell me anything different. So that's my nugget. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it because I'm going to believe you. You do have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. Um, so I'm, I'm real big on that. <laughs> I do have to say, this has been absolutely an amazing interview. It, it, it was such an honor to be able to get you to finally get on here, to be able to share your message, because I know, I know, you know, the journey of how, you know, we connected through social media and just seeing how far you've come. It's just absolutely amazing. And people need to know about you. Um, so I thank you so much. Me and Dr. Fancher, we're we, we just loving this. We're just loving the nuggets that you're dropping, the information that you are providing to, to the audience. And I know there's going to be many people that's going to connect with you and want to know more who is this woman of PWIB, Powerful Women in Business? So we thank you so much. My pleasure. I really appreciate being on the show with you all. I am very proud of you ladies for creating a platform for entrepreneurs such as myself to come on and go public and educate everybody. So I really – so my hats off to you, hand clap to you all, um, and you got my support, so thank you. Thank you so much. And if Audra said something tonight that resonated with you, please find this podcast on Change Your Minds Online. You can also find us on iTunes, Stitcher, Tuned In, and, of course, our YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being on. You have provided so many great nuggets, and I know that the audience are just eating them all up. Thank you, thank you. Have a good night. Good night, Mm -hmm. too. And thank you, everyone, for listening to the podcast where we bring you people that are changing the world via social media. So until next time, good night, everyone. Good night.